guys, uh, Nate from Richard's Guitar Studio, and today we're going to go over pinch harmonics, also known as artificial harmonics. I'm going to do the lesson, and then at the end of the video I have two short clips of a close-up of the pick, so you can get a per better perspective on uh, how the pick should look. So first, to set up, you want your volume and your tone on your guitar to be all the way up. Uh, you want your pickup select to be the bridge pickup, which on most guitars is all the way down. Um, on your amp, full distortion, as much distortion as you can get, uh, it's going to work work better. Um, so once you have that, um, the, uh, the, we'll talk about how to follow through with a pick um, doing a rest stroke. So the first thing you want to do is fret the third fret on the low E string, and you're going to play with the pick, you're going to angle your hand downward just a little bit. So if you normally pick, you know, straight out like this, you don't want to do that. You want to play the low E string and land onto the A string. So my pick is landing onto the A. So that's the direction we're going to go. Uh, so you want to follow through and dig into the guitar. All right. Uh, so the way that you make the harmonic is that the knuckle, the side of the knuckle, the flesh here on the side of the thumb, after you play the low E string, that part of the skin is going to graze across the low E string. So the pick plays and then the side of the thumb hits the string as you follow through. All right. So as I do that rest stroke, I'm going to angle my hand so that my thumb touches the low E string you know, on the way down. It's almost like a circular motion. You dig in and hit the thumb on the way down. All right. Now you might need to, to experiment with, um, you know, this, the, the spot on the string. So uh, it's called the node. And different guitar models have different string lengths and scale lengths. So um, you have to experiment a little bit with your guitar and get a feel for it. Uh, so if you notice, this, the pitch will change as I move my hand back and forth across the string. There are some spots where you just won't get a sound. Um, so as you're trying this, if you're doing it correctly, if you're digging into the next string, if your thumb is coming in contact with the low E string, but you're still getting not getting anything, you're getting a dead sound, then um, it could be that you're not on a node. So try moving back and forth on the string. Uh, the next thing is that you might be uh, your thumb might be touching the string too long. So if you dig your pick in and you hit your thumb, but your thumb rests on the string, it's going to kill the sound. So you need to play and then get your hand off of the string. All right. Again, you'll see this a little better in the uh, close-up shot, shots later on. So uh, the notes that I have you practice on is the uh, third fret, the first fret on the A string, and then the second fret on the G. Now, as the strings get smaller, uh, it's actually harder to do. So you have to be very gentle with the higher strings. So um, you know, if you're doing a, a one on the B string, it's really hard to get that one. So try the first four strings first, and then bending the string. That's a pretty cool sound. So uh, there is that, and then I wrote a little riff for you to try um, adding harmonics to a riff. So here is uh, the riff. standard power chord riff with some uh, with some harmonics. So check out the close-up uh, videos next. If you have any questions or if you're not sure about it, uh, send me an email, richards at richardsguitarstudio.com. And my main advice would just be to keep experimenting with this. If you, if you think you're doing the technique right, if you're following through, if you're hitting the thumb 
on the string as you go. Just keep experimenting with it. it de this is definitely a technique that requires a feel uh, for it. There's not like one, you know, special way to do it, which it's always going to work. It definitely requires a little bit of experimentation and uh, gaining a, a, you know, a feel for it on your guitar. So um, check out the close-up videos and have fun. Thank <laughs> you.